So I spent, obviously, the last uh, two and a half days in the hospital as we had our third daughter, uh, Charlotte Rose, on Sunday at 1235 in the afternoon. And um, if you do want to see the photos, we've got some up on my Instagram page, at Pete Mundo, uh, the Facebook and the Twitter X pages as well. Follow me there and you can see the photos that we posted last night. Uh, But I had a lot of time to watch a lot of local TV. Uh, As you're sitting there in the hospital room and, you know, you're looking for some kind of mild entertainment as everything's going on. And I saw the new Chiefs Royals ad that got dropped. A little 15-second commercial. I know there's some radio spots running as well, but there's this new 15-second short TV commercial that starts off with Travis Kelsey and bookends with Patrick Mahomes. We need you to vote yes on question one. We've all made Kansas City a major league city. Let's keep it that way. There's no better place in the world to play than Arrowhead Stadium. Let's keep it that way. Vote us We need you guys. We need you. Let's keep this rolling. All right. There you go. They want that yes vote coming up on April 2nd for the 3 8 cent sales tax to continue on and help the Royals move downtown and make some upgrades to Arrowhead Stadium for the Chiefs. Patrick Tui is with the Show Me Institute. Patrick, your response to that latest ad? I love millionaires and billionaires telling me that they need my money. <laughs> Short and sweet, huh? It's that simple. Uh, it really is, and it it would be shocking in any other industry, but did we lose him? Are you there, Patrick? To reach into our pockets. It's, it's, it's scandalous, frankly, but it, it has shown to work in Kansas city and, and around the country, unfortunately. Well, it does work uh, to your point. So what do you, as you sit here right now and you lay out the case and you're obviously not a proponent of it. And, uh, I, I think this vote's going to be much closer than people expect it to be. What is getting missed in the coverage of this and the promotion of this potential tax? That's a great question. Not as much is getting missed this time around as in 2006. I really am uh, pleased with the number of people who are aware of the economic research, who are aware of the arguments, who are aware of what's at stake. And and that's a win, frankly, for a public policy institute that that really wants people to be more educated, regardless of the decision they make. Uh, and so uh, I'm really pleased with it. I, I haven't seen any polling, so it may be that uh, the vast majority of people will rely on television and radio to make their decision. But, uh, you know, social media has really changed the dynamic. And, uh, uh, you know, we will see. But I'm, I'm really proud of Kansas Cityans who have looked into this and are uh, talking about it with substance. You know, I saw you put out a video. I actually saw it linked uh, through your social media pages and then also on Tony's Kansas City. And it was, you know, it was a good two, three minute video. Maybe it was four minutes laying out the case against it, um, which, of course, you have done on this show the last couple of weeks. But what about, you know, the idea here that there's a fascinating relationship being built between free market folks like yourself and groups like KC Tenants that you guys probably disagree on 99 percent of issues but on this one in particular i don't want to say you've come together but at least your mindset is of the same ilk certainly i think there are plenty of reasons to uh be skeptical or to oppose this effort some people come at it from uh, different views but again there are so many arguments that people on the left and right people in the middle uh, i was saying the other day that if you're a conservative and believe in small government uh, you should be opposed to this. If you are a social justice anything, uh, you should be opposed to this. And if you're a libertarian that just wants people to be left alone to live their own lives, you should oppose this. And, it, and it's those views of the world that uh, come up against simply uh, uh, being fans and, and worrying that the chiefs and the royals are, are going to make good on their threats. And I'm really, I'm really disappointed, I want to say, but certainly not surprised that what the chiefs and royals are basically saying is, um, we know you love us, we know you love our players, we know you love the teams, and we are going to trade on that. You're going to give us money in order for us to love you back, or else we're just going to leave. I don't know that those threats are legitimate threats, but it is a shame that 
that that's what it's come to. Patrick Tui is with the Show Me Institute on KCMO Talk Radio 95.7 FM. We are streaming as we are 24-7, 365 on the KCMO Talk Radio app. Uh, Mark Donovan, there was a gaffe that I don't think anyone perceived as a gaffe, but you're set, you wrote about this. You said Chiefs president accidentally speaks the truth. What did Mark Donovan yeah. say that was accidentally speaking the truth? Well, people asked him in that press conference if they would uh, you know, further develop uh, the Truman Sports Complex, maybe put in an entertainment district or something like that. And, and he said, look, it doesn't make economic sense for us to do this. And, and, and what that basically means is what uh, people have pointed out all over the country is that stadiums by themselves do not grow the economy. And, and the, the point that anyone can make is you look at a map of Truman Sports Complex on Google and you'll see that there's no development around it. Uh, and that demonstrates, and his comments demonstrate, that stadiums are not the economic drivers that they want us to believe. Patrick Tui is on KCMO. All right. Do you think that there was a threat um, insinuated in that ad that we played earlier when, you know, you hear the players say, Kansas City is a major league city. Let's keep it that way. Basically oh, implying, absolutely. hey, if, if you don't continue this thing, um, you know, the party may be over. Yeah. No, that's exactly what they're saying. Uh, and that's exactly what the, the, I mean, the campaign to urge a yes vote suggests that in its title. The ad suggests that uh, leadership of the teams have, have pretty much said it outright. And uh, again, they're they're trying to cash in again on our love of major league teams. You know, it, it's not enough that we pay for tickets. It's not enough that we buy their merchandise. I mean, a Patrick Mahomes jersey at Shields is just an incredible uh, a profit center for somebody. Um, <laughs> but that's not enough. They actually... They actually want tax money from people who, who may never go to a game, who may never buy uh, a jersey, or who may never uh, watch a game on TV. They, they just want more, and they will always want more. Uh, and, and if anyone believes that at the end, if, if this passes, at the end of 40 years, if anyone believes that, that they'll be sated, uh, they're crazy. They're going to come right back, and they're going to demand more money for a longer term, and Again, around the country, this is how it's played out. They have figured out that that their brand gets them all sorts of public funds. It's you, really unfortunate. You're noting it there. It's done all over the country. Uh, they're asking for what professional teams all over the country ask for on a fairly regular basis. So how does this end? I, I mean, does Kansas City start the trend? I mean, what do you, I, I get there's the concept of, like, this is wrong and then there's the reality of the way the world is, and I'm not necessarily agreeing or disagreeing with it, but I'm, and you're noting it there. This is how this stuff goes in every major league town. So is Kansas City expected to be the one to rip the Band-Aid off? And if so, how, how likely is that? I feel like it's going to take more than just, you know, some of the conversations I'm hearing around town because of how much money is behind the campaign. Well, certainly. And, and again, if this is voted down, uh, there are years left. Yes. on the Royals and Chiefs lease. Yes. If, if this is defeated, we will be back at the table with them very soon. And hopefully, uh, we will have all the information settled that we had in 2006 before that vote that we don't have now, which is a concrete community benefits agreement, uh, signed leases. Uh, 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 we will know what subsidies they are asking from the city. Uh, and and will be much more informed. It will probably still be a bad bet for taxpayers, but at least they'll be given the information they don't have now. They'll be given commitments they don't have now, and 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 maybe uh, maybe these teams will treat voters with the respect they deserve, which is here is our complete proposal. This is what we'd like to do. But but now, as with so many deals in Kansas City, we are being told, look, you put up the money first. And we'll figure out the details later. And it's no way to negotiate. And uh, if this measure is defeated, it doesn't mean that they're going to leave. Uh, and it doesn't mean that we won't have a better deal in the future. But, but this is just particularly bad. And, and by the way, a, a lot of teams around the country, they ask for the subsidies. They ask for the property tax. They out for, ask for the outlay. They very rarely ask for a straight-up sales tax to go right into their pocket. 
so this deal is is particularly bad uh and and part of that is because we just don't know how big it's going to get and it's going to get much much bigger hmm. patrick tui uh, reminds me of someone who once said you got to pass the bill to see what's in the bill that's what i was thinking i've of. been think i've been yeah no i've been thinking about that exactly and, <laughs> and that is the position we're in and it was ridiculous then and it's ridiculous now all right patrick uh thank you as always for the time uh we appreciate it on the show me institute we'll talk to you soon take care all right